of plenty. Miley and Scout had heard about the loaf of plenty. No matter how many slices you cut off that loaf of bread, it will never grow smaller and will feed you for the rest of your life. So decided to take off and look for this loaf of plenty. And they went all over the world. And one day, they found themselves walking in a forest and they came upon a glade. And there in that glade, they saw a bungalow situated amongst, amongst tall grasses in the wildflowers. And it smelled so good of bacon. And they looked at each other and they said, we found it! And so they ran over to the bungalow and they knocked on the door. Hello, baker! And the voice said, why should I let you in? They looked at each other, what? Why should you let us in? Kind of caught by surprise. So they withdrew to the edge of the glade. Molly said, well, we've been traveling a long way. We have lots of stories. Maybe we can tell this isolated baker's story. So they go back up. Baker, baker, we can tell you stories from our travels. And the boy says, I don't care about those. Go away. Uh-oh. That didn't work. They look around and they see a table underneath an apple tree. And they go there and they sit down. What can we come up with that this baker will let us in and give us a loaf of plenty? And Scout had an idea. Ooh, we could tell this baker how long we've traveled, how hard we've searched. Yes, that's a good idea. Baker, 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 we've traveled a long way, they shout from the door. We've worked very hard to find it. Again, that voice on the inside, I don't care, go away! Uh-oh, in worse trouble. So they decide to sit down under the apple tree at that table. They figure, well, you know, if we wait long enough, maybe the baker will just open the door, come out, or something like that. So they're waiting and waiting and waiting, and night falls, and the only light falls from the kitchen window. And it's getting cold, and it's getting up. So they're so hungry, and they're starting to get scared. So they go, Baker, Baker, it's cold out here. It's dark out here. We're scared and hungry. This time, nothing. The baker doesn't even say a thing. They're in such trouble now, they're so worried, so scared, and you know how troubles is the mother of prevention. So now Marty comes up with this great idea, runs over to the window and shouts through the open window, Baker, Baker, we will work for you for as long as you want, whatever you need for that loaf of plenty. No sooner those words are spoken, the door opens, the baker ushers them in, come on in. And they're in the warm and bright kitchen. Sure enough, the next day the baker puts them to work, and they work all day with only one break for lunch. They go outside, they sit under the tree, they have their bread and their tea. And an owl comes by. Woo! Woo! How are the two of you today? And they go, well, we're working pretty hard. All day, we only get this little break. And the owl listens with sympathy. And this goes on and on and on, and finally the two of them say, you know, we're just gonna have to do something. We gotta ask this baker, what will it take? Why, when will we get our loaf of plenty? So they go, and they say, baker, baker, when will we get our loaf of plenty? And the baker looks at them, don't talk to me about that right now. Whoa, okay. I guess we need to work a little harder, a little longer. They work harder. Every day they go to lunch, they complain to the owl, the owl goes, aww. <laughs> and they keep having to work. Finally, they go, okay, we're going to have to ask this baker again. Baker, baker, is it about time for us to get a loaf of plenty? And the baker looks at them and scowls and goes, you ingrates, I've been feeding you bread every day, 
and you're so ungrateful and you bother me. Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. And they can't help but having to leave back where it's okay. You don't know what's going to happen. So they're outside, the door slams in their faces. They sit down at the table under the apple tree and cry. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 